Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session we worked on deleting the permission from the group. In this section we are going to deal with adding the permission to the group. Here we need to remove it and then set a select to list the permissions and any one of them which we choose would be added to the group. Okay, uh, first, <clears throat> let's see, first I get a select let's see from from where should we do it let's check and find from i get a select from the user permission okay that's where i get my code in order to do the selection yeah and here i set it instead of input okay that's right select direct permission the name would be p name okay i refresh the page here i have the drop down it is empty now there's no data for it to be shown uh in the view there is no data here we need to say the u permission page group dot permission dot all no we make a new query and call it all perms equals equals what permission dot objects dot all we get all the permissions okay all perms and we send them to template perms here we correct the foring all perms compared to the name of the variable that we have here and my permission are listed there this was the first stage of our work where we have listed the permissions on the site okay now by choosing each of the permissions I need to be able to add it to my group okay I write the view let's see Here we just need a name and that is the name of the group that is used for redirecting for adding permission here. Let's see. We get an if request of method using the post method. We receive the value of the permission name we don't need to send it to our function here instead of del we said add make it url okay panel for instance groups add perms and we need a name instead of del we said add okay okay and here what we need to do is we need to in the perm function on the line add but our function needs the name what is the name as well we already send the name to template to delete and here uh, we need to send the name as well to add okay name equals name all right now here we say what do we say if request dot method 
equals post then what name equals request dot post dot get okay the name of my fill that I have here P name okay uh, this would be P name as well okay the permission name we received it here we say group dot object dot get name equals the name of the function that we received this is the name of the group equals perm and perm equals permission dot object dot get okay name equals p name permission name and then we say group dot permission instead of remove we just need to say add and now we test the page refresh choose permission test submit and now it has been added to our group over here now I check my test group permission test has been added now any other permission can be added or removed accordingly uh, that's for adding permission to groups I already said if you want to make this entirely dynamic so that the admin would be able to define any permission uh, for any group to be used in there it would make things a little complicated and the algorithms that need to be written would require much more attention there are several modes uh, whereby we can set the permission so that the admin can give uh, any user its own permission or like the prepared content system where they can have groups uh, we can define some permissions for different sections such as the news editing etc and uh, we will be able to see the permissions names uh, for instance the permission sections would not be delible instead we give accessibility uh, to the admin we give the responsibility to the admin so that he can make the group and then give the permission to the groups and then add the user to the group the user consequently is going to be sent to that group and in the view and template we check the users group and make sure if that user group has a permission to do a certain or to do or to perform a certain function or not those things will be easier and more common the permissions are default for adding uh, for categorization for the list for editing for any other function there would be a default list and uh, uh, all these sections would have a permission with a separate name and we set a group section for the admin where he can define new groups and give certain permissions to certain groups we check the users group and get the permission and see if that permission uh, for a function exists in the users group or not if there was he can do it if not here uh, he won't be able to perform the function so that's it or we can have no groups and the admin chooses permission to individual users as we said these are the use uh, the easier methods where the admin gives permissions to the users if you want a full dynamic site where you set the permissions you need to ask the admin for which section uh, the permissions are for instance the permission name is for the news and in the news sections we would extract the permissions that have been defined for the news and we would check with the user uh, to see if it has or doesn't have a permission but just being able to give the permission to individual users or give uh, the users permissions would do we won't be needing to make things more complex than that is unnecessary it would do up to now there are two more things left with the permissions uh, and 
they are both uh, in the template and in the view uh, we are going to check and see if there are no precedences no repetitions